So my girlfriend Amy, it was Christmas time, and I wanted to make her something really cool. I'm a tech guy, so I uh, went out and combined her passion of woodworking into a tech project and surprised her with it. So I open it up and at first I see it's clearly a handmade mirror. Then he's like, no, 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 you have to plug it in. So I'm like, plug it in, it's a mirror. But I plug it in, the loading screen comes on, and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So I finally, the whole thing boots up and it has the weather, like the current weather of Philadelphia, it has the time, and then at the very bottom it says, you look especially amazing today. And it was just really heartwarming. It was super sweet so fast forward a couple days and he posted the whole tutorial on reddit and it just blew up like immediately that's her it's a christmas present tech kind of empowers you to do some really creative and really cool things it's pretty much like magic technology is is really fun and it's also really fun to learn how science and art come together and that's what kind of this is. It's the science of binary and code, but combined with making something look really, really pretty. Mirror Mirror is a new take on the same bathroom mirror you look at every day when you're walking into your bathroom. Sections of the screen are dedicated to what I call widgets, little pieces of functionality that show you like the weather, or the traffic on your way to work. But the whole idea behind it is that you take an old piece of technology like a mirror and you add a new layer on top of it that creates a new level of interaction that you didn't have before. When I was like 11, my buddy in the homeroom showed me that he could build a computer. And I was like, how did you do that? You have to teach me everything you know and he taught me a lot, and then we started getting into Xbox Live hacking, and that's where I got really into kind of like the programming, nitty gritty hacking side. Personal projects are very important. Um, they help you learn new technology you otherwise couldn't, if you're stuck in a job and you can't really get outside of that particular stack. So it's really great to have a personal project where you can not only show to other people interested in tech, but to potentially switch careers and switch industries. Personal projects are awesome. My first one I ever made, I was only building it for one use case, for Amy to put in her bathroom and to look cool and display information she cared about, the weather, what time it was in Philly, like all Philly specific things. The next phase was, oh shoot, all these people want a mirror. How do I make the mirror configurable to what they want? How do I allow them to add these widgets on top, change where they like change their context? So if it's a weather widget, I had to let them be able to change their location and update the weather for their location. I had to make a system where you could drag and drop the widgets onto the mirror and then um, yeah, had to support many users at one time. So that was phase two. Phase three is touchscreen. And that involves a whole different platform. It's outside of the scope of web now. I have to do something different. It's constantly changing. Version 2.0, which is the drag and drop uh, widget interface, has hit a roadblock physical wise. I can't go any I can't add any more complexity through a web interface anymore. The Raspberry Pi crashes and it can't handle all of the, the code I want to do to it. Um, so I'm going to start integrating with <clears throat> Android, which is a whole new skill set I don't know about yet. Um, but to help I've actually partnered up with a company that will produce manufacture these mirrors is funding my research into turning it into a touchscreen um, with all the widgets and all the ecosystem behind it. To make the, the third version of a reality, I have to learn a lot of new programming things, a lot of new hardware things I never had to think about before. You're going from learning, like going, like your, brain, your brain's going down into detail when you're programming, then you're talking business, you're like your mind's going across all these different subjects. I have to be both the implementer and the guy managing the project and telling this company what a web server is and documenting how it's going to get done. So it's a lot of explaining, it's a lot of uh, 
knowing when to hire, who to hire, what what platform to use. So, yeah, it's different. It's different.